Hello everyone, this is Fanos from 2050 Materials and today I'm gonna be showing you how to research the, li the library to find sustainable building materials that suit your project. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the platform which is at app.2050-materials.com I'm going to log in using uh, one of my accounts and that will give me access to most of the functionality of the platform. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for uh, acoustic building boards. So the way I do that is I'm gonna start looking for building boards and then you'll see the product types that pop below. Now by clicking on one of the product types and then clicking search, um, I will get all building boards that are listed on the platform. So I can already start looking at some of the interesting uh, manufacturers that provide acoustic building boards with sustainability certifications. Now, when you land on this page, you'll see that you have the filters on the left where I can open and see different material classifications, locations, uh, etc. And you have a couple of drop downs on the top right. The left drop down is uh, has to do with a unit which these products are shown at. So uh, in the life cycle assessment space, um, sometimes carbon emissions are shown in different units and I might want to normalize everything in the exact same unit. So now since I'm looking at building boards, I want to change every unit to be showing meter squared. So I'm going to click that. And what you'll see is that then all of the carbon emissions shown for these products are now shown per meter squared. Now equivalently, if I'm working on a different product type or would like to see them in units of kilograms, length, mass, whatever it might be, I can kind of select this and the platform pre-transforms all of the metrics to that unit. Now, the other interesting thing to do is by default, you see the lowest carbon products here, but you can always change that to see the latest ones that were uploaded or the ones with the highest recycled content or the lowest water use. Now, you see a bunch of products here. Uh, so I'm gonna start using the filters to make it a little bit more interesting. So first of all, I'm sitting in Europe. So I'm just gonna filter by manufacturing continent Europe. I am then going to also say that I only want to see products that have an environmental product declaration, which means they have a third party verified sustainability footprint or carbon footprint. Um, and then I can also include some health related product declarations since these are interior products. Now by updating the parameters, you'll see that I get a smaller list of products, which uh, suits my uh, indications. And then I can start looking into these. I can, if I want to further go into the detail and filter, for example, to just see natural materials, to only see timber-based products, so anything more I want to do is always possible here. Now, once I have started looking at these products, one thing that is interesting to do is to add products to my comparison cart. So by clicking on this button, you'll see that the products are added above. So I'm gonna do that on a couple of different products. And then I'm going to go into my comparison cart to look at them. Now, what this does is, as you'll see, is it generates a report with all of the products I've selected uh, and all of the information uh, for these products. This is something that is quite useful both in the specification process as well as in value engineering exercises. Now, all of the sustainability and carbon data is available here. Once again, you can select a specific unit to transform the units, the products in, and you can also always see the sources of the, of the products. Now, assuming I've decided that I want to look into one of these in a lot more details, I can click on the title here, and that would take me to the product page. Now, on the product page, what you'll see is this contains information about the manufacturer. So in this case, it's a manufacturer in Sweden. I can always go to their website and take more information, or I can even contact them here, for example, to ask an additional question or to order samples. Now, besides the manufacturer information, I'll see some technical details here, like the fire performance uh, and the life expectancy or durability of the material. And then on the right side of the page, I will see the uh, what we call material facts table. So this is essentially all of the sustainability metrics of the product. Um, these will always come from a data source. So if I just zoom in 
here, what you'll see is that these specific ones come from an EPD, which in this case, unfortunately has expired in May of last year. So it's always flagged, but we keep the data so that uh, you are able to do these sort of comparisons until there is an updated environmental product declaration. Now, uh, I can always click on this link and that would take me to the actual document or I can go back and continue looking at products. I hope this is a helpful demonstration and please have a look at our other videos on how you can integrate some of this data into our tools.